next uh, question the last question is show root 7 on number line show root 7 on number line okay now this is a sum good sum to revise the whole thing starting from root 2 now to get root 7 on number line the triangle should be if you take a right angle triangle the base should be root 6 and the height should be 1. Height we used to take always 1. So that you have to keep in mind. Height 1. So root 6 square will be root 6 into root 6. 6 plus 1 square 1. So 6 plus 1 you will get the hypotenuse as root 7. Now to get root 6 you will have to start from. To get root 6 now you will have to start from root 2. If you construct root 2 you will get root 3. Correct no? If you construct root 3, you will get root 4. From root 4, you will get root 5. From root 5, you will get root 6. From root 6, you will get root 7. So, this is a good sum for recap. Okay. So, let's start. I will start from root 2. We need a number line. Ready? As we did before, this will mark as 0. 4 centimeter distance we will take as one unit four 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 one two three one two and three four four centimeter now how to get root two recap you might be knowing base one then we'll keep the protractor on one and mark 90 degree. Join. Mark the perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular. Join the hypotenuse. For that we need one unit, right? After drawing perpendicular, take one unit. After drawing perpendicular, take one unit. One unit means 0 to 1. 0 to 1. Huh. One unit I took. Keep it on 1. Draw the arc. So, this much distance is 1 unit. Now, join the hypotenuse. So, 1 unit and 1 unit hypotenuse will be root 2. Now, this root 2 will bring it down. Take the distance. Keep it on origin, origin and take the distance of the hypotenuse and then cut an arc. So this point where the arc has cut the number line, this point will be root 2. Now to get root 3, the base should be root 2. On root 2, you will draw the perpendicular. Perpendicular. 90 degree again height we will take the same one unit one unit means this much this way or you can take 0 to 1 same distance 0 to 1 this way or this way same one unit keep the compass on root 2 cut the arc okay hmm? now Join the new hypotenuse. So the, this new hypotenuse is root 3. Base was root 2. Height is 1. You got root 3. Bring root 3 down. Take the distance. So the arc. So this is root 3. From root 3. If you keep the base as root 3 and height 1. Root 3 square plus 1 square will be root 4. No? Huh. So from root 3. Again perpendicular. One unit height. One unit is. 0 to 1 
keep it on root 3 mark the arc 1 unit same this also 1 this also 1 we got the new hypotenuse the third hypotenuse from 0 mark it this new hypotenuse is root 4 root 4 is 2 also no this distance will bring it down so root 4 0 to the hypotenuse is root 4 keep it at 0 bring that distance mark the arc so this point is you should get it on 2 root 4 root 4 is nothing but 2 that means we are right now from root 2 uh, from root 4 or 2 again draw perpendicular from root 4 the height will take it as 1 unit Height will take it as 1 unit. The next hypotenuse. Root 4 square plus 1 square will be. Again this will be root 5. Now we have already learnt another way of getting root 5. By taking base as 2 and height as 1. Or you can do this way. If you do this way you will have to construct. Do so many constructions. Okay, to get root 7, we have to do this. Or you can also start from, directly from root 5. So, this is root 5. We got root 5. Now, bring it down. Root 5, distance. Bring it down. This will be root 5. Similarly, on root 5, you will draw the perpendicular. Show the perpendicular. Again, one unit as height. This all were one unit. One unit. So, one unit will mark. Now the next hypotenuse that you got is root 6. Root 2, from root 2 you got root 3, root 4, root 5, root 6. This root 6 distance will take root 6. Mark the arc, root 6 is still here. Draw the arc. From root 6, we will again draw the perpendicular. From root 6, we will draw the perpendicular. And this here. Ninety degree. Then on this perpendicular, we will take one unit. 1 unit is this much or from 0 to 1 you can take. Keep it here and mark 1 unit. This is that arc. Join the last hypotenuse that we want. The longest one. And this is root 7. Now bring root 7 down. Mark the distance from 0 to the Last hypotenuse. Okay, this distance. Mark it correctly. Okay, this much. I have kept the compass at 0. Mark the hypotenuse. So, this new arc that you got. Mark the arc. This new arc that you got is root 7. Okay. So, they had asked us to show root 7 on number line. This is root 7. To get root 7, we did root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5, root 6 and then we got root 7.
So start from root 5 and get root 7. You get a complete revision of irrational number. Root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5, root 6, root 7. These all are irrational numbers.